Welcome back. Ten falcons have been treated with the bacterial disease A. Baumani at the Abu Dhabi Falcons Hospital in Abu Dhabi. Yellowish discoloured lesions were found on the thighs and bodies of the birds and were quickly treated thanks to an early diagnosis. The disease affects both people and falcons and can survive for long periods. And was, this was diagnosed back in 2002 when military doctors treated service members who were injured in the Afghanistan and Iran regions. Symptoms include weight loss, colomic and distension and diarrhea. No. The Marine Environment and Wildlife Management Section of the Environment Department of Dubai Municipality installed six new signboards in the Ras Al Khor Wildlife Sanctuary. Visitors can now refer to the signboards for more information on the variety of birds found at the reserve. Ras Al Khor Wildlife Sanctuary is home to more than 300 species of flora and fauna and has an increasing number of bird species annually. Last year alone, the total number of flamingos went up to 2,700 birds in November, compared to only about 1,000 in previous years. And as the weekend draws to a close, let's have a look at some of the events around Dubai for the week ahead. First up, an exhibit featuring photographs of Herbert Ponting from Captain Scott's 1910 to 1912 Antarctic Terra Nova expedition that is currently taking place at the Empty Quarter on the Sheikh Zayed Road. If you want to see Iranian painter Nikki Najormi's surrealist paintings, why not visit the gallery Isabel van den Hind for the Educating the Horse exhibition that runs until the 13th of January in Alcoz. And for some regional art, head down to Quadro on the Sheikhzade Road to see Calamat, a new take on an old art that looks at the ways Arab artists explore traditional Arabic script. That one runs up until the 8th, the 13th, sorry, of the month. And if you're already planning your coming Thursday night out, Bob Sinclair will be playing at Cheetah Lodge on Thursday, the 13th of January. And with that, here's a look at the weather forecast for tomorrow. Well, that brings us to the end of the bulletin. As always, please feel free to get in touch with us at news at city7tv.com or by calling us on 04367 That number is 04367 And do join our Facebook page. From the entire news team, it's goodbye and thanks for watching.